everyone, Jennifer here. I'm going to be showing you one week of breakfast in this video, and this is all food that we pretty much eat on a regular basis. So starting with today's meal, we're having um, two slices of turkey bacon, a quarter of a blueberry muffin. I'm having some cottage cheese and some mixed berries on top. And I realize the turkey bacon does not look very appetizing, but I promise you <laughs> it's very good. Okay, this is one of my favorite breakfasts actually to have. It's very plain, very simple, but it's poached eggs on toast. And I'm not using regular toast. This is a whole wheat English muffin here. So I actually have perfected the art of poaching an egg. So give this video a thumbs up if you want me to show you how to do it. But it doesn't use vinegar. I don't use anything, any gadgets, but I know the exact time and precise science behind making the perfect poached eggs. So this is one of my favorite meals. Today I'm having yogurt, granola, and berries. And actually the yogurt that you see here is homemade. I have been making my own yogurt for the past few months. I'll definitely do a video where I show you how I do this, but I am just so about making my own yogurt lately. Um, so I love it, it's delicious and plain. And I have homemade granola on top. This is a coconut granola recipe that I got off the internet. It was kind of good, but you know who has a good granola recipe is how Jen does it. And I'll leave her recipe below. I made that too one time and it was so good. But anyway, I'm just having this with some simple berries. And this is another favorite breakfast uh, that I like to have at least once or twice a week. So today I'm having a whole wheat English muffin again with scrambled eggs and cheese. My daughter picked those flowers and uh, a blueberry banana chia seed smoothie. So this is just a hearty, easy, delicious breakfast. And today I'm having cottage cheese with blackberries. And this is one of those um, raisin energy bars. I got them from Costco. I really like these. I keep all my bread in the freezer, by the way, and I just pull out, you know, what I need for the day. So that's what I did here and it has butter on it. So good. Okay, this is my coconut almond chia oatmeal that I have a recipe for. I will leave that in the iCard above. And I've just sprinkled some blackberries on it. I would have done more, but we ran out. But this is so delicious and hearty and filling. I just love having oatmeal. Sometimes I have oatmeal every single day of the week. And now for the grand finale. <laughs> I make waffles for my family at least once a week, usually on the weekends. And I have this really old waffle maker that makes, um, on one side it does heart shapes and on the other side it's a Belgian waffle. So I, I made the heart shape and I have some mixed fruit here on top. Uh, pineapple, apple, mandarin orange, and strawberry. And I've topped it with whipped cream. And yes, sometimes this is a very necessary breakfast to have. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed today's video and that it provided breakfast inspiration for you. I would love to know what do you like to eat for breakfast? What are your favorite breakfasts? Leave them in the comment section below and your comment could be chosen as comment of the week on The Daily Connoisseur. Thank you so much and I will see you next time. Bye.